Hey friends, do you have leads in your pipeline that you are just feeling not confident about? That the information you have on them is just sort of assumptions and nothing's been validated, nothing's been verified? Are you feeling like they're not telling you the truth or trying to get information out of them is like, you know, trying to get water out of a rock? So... Uh, I'd like to share with you a story, uh, a coaching uh, experience that I had with one of my agents today, and um, hopefully that can shed some light on uh, her issue and that can help you. So hi, I'm, I'm Karen Clements, and this is Real Estate Ed with Friends. So my agent called and uh, we are trying to take those leads that she has and weed them out and see if there's something in there that we can get to contract between in the next uh, you know, 14 to 30 days, the hot leads. As we're going through them one by one, uh, we quickly discovered that you know half of the pre-qualifying questions were done. She had a lot of assumptions about a lot of them, and nothing is concrete. You know, no dates, no timelines, you know, not sure what they want, not sure if they're selling, not sure they're buying. And so, um, so we kind of had to go a different route. And I said, you know, um, tell me about your former life and career. And I knew what it was and uh, she was in, in law enforcement. And so I said, well, let's do a day in the life of that. And I started asking her questions if, you know, if, um, I was an inmate, and um, and this whole different persona uh, came over her, and she started, you know, she if I asked her a question, you know, she gave me an answer. It was a straight up answer. It was, she had exuded this confidence and this knowledge, and uh, she was just an authority. And in that position, she had to be an authority. She had to demonstrate confidence. She couldn't blink. And so I said, well, you know, you need to put those boots on. You need to be that persona again. You need to be that person of confidence um, that exudes knowledge. And, um, you know, you don't want to scare the bejeebies out of anybody and think you're going to throw them down, that kind of thing. But um, she, you know this is a whole new industry for her and she's been listening to a lot of different people a lot of people telling her she needs to say this and you need to say that and you need to do this and you need to do that and you know she was trying to be uh these other people and um mirror what these other people are doing and it's not her and so you know the uh lesson um is to and what she's going to try now is to be authentic be herself, be that confident person, put those boots back on, not be Mr. Tough Guy, right? But put those boots back on and gain knowledge. She can talk with such authority and confidence because she knows a definitive answer. The answer is this, this, this. So if she could, you know, give the answer to a consumer that asks her a question with that kind of authority, it would make all the difference in her world. And so... Remember that knowledge equals confidence and your knowledge inspires confidence in the mind of the prospect when you answer their question. So when a buyer asks you about mortgage and how to get a loan in the process, you need to answer that with concrete answers, with confidence and authority, uh, knowing what's for sale, knowing days on the market. Um, knowing what has sold in a community. You need to know those with confidence and uh, be very, very knowledgeable. And that is going to make all the difference in how a consumer is going to look at you and trust in you and want to be able to um, want to use you to sell their home or to assist them with buying one. So I hope this little tidbit helps you. It's, maybe it's the one thing you can do is to change your demeanor, uh, change your confidence level, uh, be you, be authentic, and um, knowledge is confidence. So I hope this is the one thing you can do this year and uh, make it a great day. And I hope to connect with you soon.